Jury nullification occurs when a jury decides not to convict a criminal defendant because they believe the law is unjust or being applied unjustly. Although nullification is legal, it's also highly controversial. But because it's allowed, does that mean someone has to tell the jury? This was the question in United States v. Doherty. In 1969, Reverend Michael Doherty and a group of Catholic clergy, seminarians, and laypeople broke into the Dow Chemical Company building, vandalized the offices, and destroyed property. The group, later dubbed the DC-9, were attempting to draw public attention to their ongoing protest against Dow for supplying napalm to the American military during the Vietnam War. Before trial, several defendants requested permission to proceed pro se, or act as their own attorneys. The district court denied the motion, stating that the defendant's lack of legal training, combined with the seriousness of the charges, and the large number of defendants, was likely to cause disruptions during the trial and prejudice the jury against the defendants. At trial, the defendants didn't deny the charges against them. Instead, they requested that the court instruct the jury that it could disregard the law and acquit defendants if they found the defendants were morally justified. The judge refused to include the instruction and prohibited the defense from presenting the argument to the jury. The jury convicted the defendants for malicious destruction of property and unlawful entry. Doherty appealed to the D.C. Circuit, 